happy monday everybody it's coach elizabeth here with monday morning manifestation and on today's show we're going to talk about how to awaken from the trance of mediocrity um this term trance of mediocrity was one that i learned after reading an incredible book called radical acceptance and the author's name is tara brock it's on audible check it out um but this whole book is about really kind of waking up to yourself and accepting yourself radically right accepting everything about yourself um, so that you can live your best life so in this book she uses this wonderful metaphor and it's the story of mohini the white bengal tiger so if you're not familiar with it mohini was um, the feature attraction at the dc zoo in the 1960s and you know tourists would flock to come see her um, she was one of only a couple in the whole u.s at the time uh, she lived in a 12 by 12 cage with iron bars and a cement floor. Um, and with all of the tourists coming, they thought, you know what, let's build her a big, beautiful habitat. So they raised some money and they actually ended up giving her um, a wonderful space that was acres upon acres of rolling hills, it had a wonderful pond. It was the best a tiger could get, right? But by the time they introduced Mohini to the new habitat, it was too late. She was so used to being in her 12 by 12 cage that when she got put in the habitat, she actually retreated to a corner, the smallest corner that she could find of this habitat. And she would pace back and forth, never exploring all of the rolling hills, the pond or frolicking and really enjoying um, what was provided for her. And nobody could figure it out. They thought, why isn't she out there? Look at all of this beauty. We made this for her. But the thing is, is that Mohini had not only been in a physical cage, but she had created a mental cage for herself, right? And the saddest part is that she, she died in that little corner. She never explored everything that was out there for her. So this is such a powerful metaphor for how we live our life, right? So we're, we've all probably made ourselves some sort of cage, right? And this mental cage is constructed of anxiety, self-judgment, self-doubt, um, and just any time we're really critical to ourselves. Because if you don't feel worthy of greatness, and if you don't feel worthy of abundance and wealth and being surrounded by people who adore you, you're never going to see that it's out there. So you're just going to stay in this cage and go through the motions every day, doing the same shit you did yesterday. Was yesterday a fantastic day for you? If you can't say that it was, then it's time to switch up something. A lot of times when clients come to me, they, they use that word, I feel stuck. You feel stuck because your body is crying out for you to do something, take action in some way. So what I do is I help figure out what action needs to be taken, right? What is your soul trying to tell you to do? But if you're out there and you feel stuck or you feel like you're pacing in this cage of your mind that has been erected with bars of judgment and maybe even some self-loathing and you think to yourself, if I just win the lottery or if I just get the right partner or if I just have some kids or if I just get the right job, then I will be happy. I got news for you. You won't be happy. Because all of those lush acres of all of these things that you want will never be visible to you if you don't feel like you deserve them. And you're never going to feel like you deserve them unless you practice radical acceptance with yourself. So check in with yourself throughout this week. Say, do I accept myself 100% right now? If you're pissed off, accept that you're pissed off. Don't feel bad about it. Don't shame yourself for, for being mad about something. Just feel those feelings and then let them move through you, right? And move on. We don't want to stay in a negative headspace, but we also don't want you to beat yourself up every time you don't do something perfectly or every time you feel like you've disappointed somebody else or yourself, right? We don't want to just accept everything forever to the point of like if we're in a bad situation, right? Then you have to take action. But if you're just beating yourself up to beat yourself up, that's something that you really need to shine a light on. Because once you have awareness of it, you can start feeling more worthy. And once you feel worthy, you let yourself out of this cage. You let yourself out of this trance of mediocrity.